I don't have any children of my own, but I do have an awesome nephew and a brand new niece, and many of my friends are doing a lot of baby making these days. And the more I'm around these little miniature humans, the more I'm fascinated by all of the weird things about them. Did you realize, for example, that babies are born without fully developed tear ducts? This is why they cry all the time, but they never cry. Babies are also born with the natural instinct to crawl. When placed low on the mother's abdomen immediately after birth, babies will shuffle up to the breast and start feeding. That instinct vanishes soon after birth, and it will be another seven to ten months before the baby will actually crawl again. Which is weird. Scientists think babies do the breast crawl because they can smell the colostrum, the highly concentrated yellowish milk produced during the first few days after birth. It's low in fat and high in protein and antibodies. Apparently they can also smell other attractive odors secreted by glands around the nipple. Amazing fact number three, a baby can not only recognize mom's voice from the moment he or she is born, but also while they are still inside of the person who's doing the talking. Fetuses respond to all kinds of outside stimuli, slam a door, and a third trimester baby will often move inside the womb, but they can also differentiate between voices from inside the uterus. Studies have been conducted in which a pregnant mother and other random people read aloud to a baby in utero. They found that the baby's heart rate increases at the mom's voice and slows down when it hears people who are unfamiliar. Scientists call it an attention mechanism. The heartbeat slows down as the baby Baby attempts to figure out who is making that strange noise. When the baby that recognizes mom's voice and instinctually knows how to crawl finally emerges, it will show up with about 270 bones in its body, which is 64 more than adult humans. That's because babies are born with bones that will fuse together over time, mostly in the skull and spine. Babies begin life with a cranium made up of eight separate bones that eventually grow into one. Infants need a soft, pliable head because otherwise they wouldn't be able to fit through the birth canal, which is kind of important. The soft spot at the crown of the head of most infants, which is technically known as the fontanelle, is an unprotected spot in the scalp where the bones fuse together. You can basically poke a baby directly on its brain. Finally, if you've heard that babies can swim, that's a dirty lie. What's true and pretty amazing is a reflex called the bradycardic response, which causes infants to hold their breath and open their eyes when submerged in water. This reflex stems from the nine very watery months the baby spent inside another person. So whether you have some of your own or not, maybe now you can appreciate babies on a whole new level. In addition to being adorable and stinky and often very noisy, they are also, in many ways, True marvels of nature. Thank you for watching this episode of SciShow. We're on Facebook and Twitter, and of course down in the comments below. And if you want to keep getting smarter with us, you can go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe.